Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to uh, share with you uh, some of the experience that we've got for the um, high-rise building in, in China. Okay, I must emphasize in China, it's not in any other parts of the world. Although our companies, um, we do all the, uh, quite a lot of major super-rise, high-rise building in the world, uh, such as the Nakir Harbor Tower, uh, at the moment the Jakarta uh, Energy uh, Tower, and, uh, and the, um, a bit on the uh, Wuhan, at the moment the Wuhan Zhou Dai Fok uh, uh, Tower, there is, will be the tallest uh, building in China. So I just emphasize on all the uh, major tall buildings in China only. Now, the, uh, these are some of the exp examples that we do. We provide a lot, uh, RLB, rather than Bucknell, no, we provide quantity survey services. So it means cost management control for tall buildings. So from budget to estimate to tendering and to uh, cost administration to project until the final accounts. That's our service. So these are the projects that uh, we are currently or have completed for some of them. Uh, the Shanghai Tower, especially, uh, we completed uh, only this year. And I've just met uh, uh, Mr. Guo, uh, the, the general manager of our downstairs, and, and he just uh, mentioned that he had a, another, uh, I think we probably got an award from the CTBUH on the Asia tallest building. Uh, so these are some, some of the buildings that we, we do some in Hong Kong as well, but today I'm, we are all concentrated on the, uh, in China. Okay, so China, the uh, current status for uh, the super high rise uh, projects is that usually the developer will employ a international, an international architect or designer to do the schematics uh, or the design, very roughly for the scheme, for the projects. And then the local design institute will uh, implement the construction or uh, in depth of the construction drawings so as to uh, tie in or to fall into in accordance with the uh, regulations in China. But uh, throughout the years, uh, we've been starting projects like in 1980s till, nine, till now. The local design institute uh, has already advanced a lot, and they already have a lot of uh, improve, improvement on, uh, to do super high-rise things. Now, one of the things that we need to uh, provide is the the LDI, they don't do specifications here, all right? It's very important for projects for, to tender, you need the specification, especially those uh, 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 specialized, like lift and uh, curtain wall, but they don't do it. Because we have, in China, we have a, a standard um, specification uh, 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 regulations, and then you don't, you just say, okay, in accordance with the Chinese specification. Now, but that's not applied to the um, uh, tall buildings, okay? So they do not provide technical specification and recommended brand names and suppliers' names and all that. So it will be a disadvantage to have, um, uh, 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 if the document is incomplete, the, we cannot do a fixed lump sum contracts. So most of the uh, approach is by remeasurement. Now, by remeasurement, then you don't have a fixed lump sum cost. And then we cannot control it. Even your contract sum is how many millions, but then at the end, may be different, okay? So another thing that uh, the uh, detailed drawings usually are prepared by the local design institute, in line with the system of the uh, uh, estimates final accounts, uh, and but cannot meet the market approach. So technical specification is available, but it's no choice to use direct supply contracts by the employer. Lots of it using what? Prime cost. I don't know whether you know. I can't go into too, too, too details on what are prime cost sum. Prime cost sum is uh, 
we, we have some, allow something to build, an item or, uh, uh, or, or um, like a, a sky window or, or sky, skylight. We, we, we don't know the design at the, at the start, so we allow a sum of it. So there's a prime cost sum, and that will be adjusted in the uh, final accounts. Now, that, a lot of these prime, prime cost sums will change the uh, 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 contract sum before when you're awarded the contract. So you cannot control it. So that's the problem, okay? Uh, the, and then the LDI, they don't uh, responsible for the uh, uh, design of light curtain wall, specialized, as you know, ELV or all these um, mechanical and electrical uh, installations. And of course, the facade, a lot of the lighting now, landscape, a lot of this have to be provided by specialists. Now, this is very important because if you don't have a, a very good design and then with the specification, we cannot go out for tender. And then even if we go out for tender, it's only a concept. It's a, a performance thing, which the tender, when they come back, we have a lot of different sums. It may vary a lot, okay? So, in that respect, we need to have a, a very a professional team. Our suggestion is to really, uh, during all these uh, super high-rise projects now uh, in China, we need to have a, a, a team of professionals that can carry out different uh, aspects of the building. Uh, later on, we have a, a chart showing you what, approximately, what sort, what sort of professionals we should employ. Uh, and then we need to coordinate the design as well. Now, with the uh, introduction of the BIM, uh, uh, now, uh, that is much better, especially for the M&E uh, coordination. That will be uh, one of the good things about BIM, but it's still um, under uh, uh, improvement. Now, I think the charts, when you look into it, uh, we, need to, we, have a, we have an architect, structural engineers, e &M consultants, QS, LDI, of course, we need that to uh, 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 get approval from the local department. And then landscape design, that's very important now because uh, although super high-rise building, they may not have a lot of air landscape, but then now we need to have a podium or, or sky uh, uh, things to have green in order to get uh, a, a green building award. So we have curtain wall design, interior design, uh, signage, lift, traffic, uh, environmental consultancy, Earthquake analysis in areas like uh, China, EIA, daylight consultant, environmental impact, um, green building, lead certification, drawing approval, and fire service engineer now. So this is some examples. Now we may have some more consultants we need. So you see, in a, 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 such a complicated building, we need all, the, all that sorts of professionals. Now, how do we uh, put them together? Now, the problems always we found is the demarcation. Who's doing what? And what are the areas that overlaps and not, nobody will doing it, maybe, okay? So we need to have a very uh, in-depth demarcation of what the services of which a consultant do. Now, a lot of these things, uh, because we we gone through we're international firm, we've gone through the process a lot. Now the developer now knowing our value, and we try to help them. Actually, all the consultancy, all of this, especially in the Shanghai Tower, we help them to do the consultancy agreement with all the professionals, so that we can identify where are the areas that each each. Uh, consultants or uh, specialists should do because we drafted all the tender documents for all trades, all specialists, leave curtain wall. So we know exactly what we should put in for the agreement and what their services should provide. And then we, lo closing the gap, reducing the gap that sometimes some of the works nobody do with it and maybe overlapping, okay? This is very important, one of the uh, things that we should know. And, and then we should always uh, should uh, encourage the developer to increase the work of the consultants or the 
especially the local design institute, because they now what they do is they, they would just uh, upon scheme and then they just do the construction drawings, but without really doing a lot of specifications. And when the project started, they don't look into the variations on the design. And, uh, 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 usually the employer will, will, will ask the um, uh, supervisor the, what we call the Jenny to look after the projects when the projects go ahead. So their role is only up to the tender, main of the role. And then probably some of the design changes in the, in the process of the uh, 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 projects. But then they should, like I think uh, some of you all know, we may know in, internationally with the architects, or the structural engineers, mechanical engineers, they, they, they are throughout from design stage, implementation, uh, when the project started, and then through maybe four or five years until the final uh, drawings completed. Now that's all monitored or, or serviced by the cons uh, uh, specialist uh, uh, consultants. So I think that should apply to the uh, local design institute here as well. So uh, that will, so that they can make a lot of technical specification. Now, uh, throughout the years, the design institutes already uh, 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 have that in mind and they have expanded their services. But as, as you said, you know, it, it, it takes time to build up a very strong team and, and technical wise for do uh, specification. Uh, and that's been uh, uh, doing a lot for the, uh, from overseas. Um, so that will constitute later once that been extended to service, so the, so the responsibility will, will be um, divided, divided evenly, and then the cost control side will be a bit uh, more secure. Now, another suggestion on this uh, is that uh, in China, uh, the developers like to purchase materials directly themselves. A lot, you know, bulk purchase or anything like that. You know, they, they like to do it them, themselves. But then there is a, a, a problems of um, who's coordinating it, when the uh, material should arrive on site, to should the main contractors work. All these problems, uh, the developer uh, seems not to not to take a lot of attention. But that because bulk purchase and direct purchase from them is more cheaper. Uh, and, and can have a control on what sort of materials they want. But traditionally or internationally, we, we want a main contractor who are able to do all this. There are lots of main contractor here uh, in the world and uh, even in China now, they're, I mean, China stage and all this, they're, they're really, well, Shanghai construction group, they're they are, they are the biggest contractor in the world. Uh, they are capable to do it. And the China state in Hong Kong, they already follow that system. So they are the main contractor. And they will coordinate with all the subconsultants uh, or uh, the subcontracts or nominated subcontracts or su supply contracts so that the schedule, they were responsible. When they should come in, uh, one, when the steel should come in, when the uh, uh, curtain wall, you know, the things uh, that, that they will take care of. If you are the developer, you do it yourself. You need a big team to work together with a contractor when it should be. And there's lots of disputes from our experience because of late delay, the material is not coming in, the contractor cannot put things on and they have to wait for the material to come and lots of claims, okay, disputes. So we suggest and the uh, uh, major thing is to have all this in a, not a traditional, but a, 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 there are many contract procurement, management contracting, uh, traditional main contractors uh, contract uh, thing with NSC, normally subcontracts, uh, normally supplier and all that, but that we all take care of by the main contractor. They are responsible, okay, for the program and for their works, although they, they usually have uh, the other uh, thing. Oops, sorry. Okay, so by doing that uh, procurement strategy, we probably can have uh, a very good lump sum uh, contract based on the drawings that 
the uh, uh, architects, international architect, and the o LDI done, and then we can use that to do bills of quantities, to tender based on bills of quantities, not scheduled rates. Now, China very often, uh, I think, uh, uh, government uh, officially, you use scheduled rates. Uh, that only apply to a certain general items. Any specialized items, they don't have a schedule rate. But throughout the years, they build up already. But then the uh, uh, Ministry of uh, Construction and, and uh, Housing and, and Euro uh, Development uh, uh, Department already introduced a, a, a contract based on builds quantities. Now, we've been introducing to actually, we've tried, I've been uh, putting together 30, 20 years together with the uh, uh, ministry to work out this uh, uh, platform for views of quantities, and they've been using it now. And it's very good because that will be have a more uh, control on the cost when they come back as a lump sum contract with the unit rates when they put, it, put in. So, um, and that's when you have the variations and changes. You have to always have unit rates in the documents, all right, in the views of quantities to apply to if there's any changes. Okay, so and I, as I told you, that the China, China, uh, Chinese develop, developers always like to direct purchase themselves. Now that we help a lot um, for the um, uh, now, as you know, one belt one road. A lot of Chinese developers now going out <clears throat> to various parts of the world. I just been to Warsaw. Just come back last week, and the Chinese developers is developing something there now. <laughs> what they do, like Greenland, Wanda, we help them out in Australia, in, in UK. Now, they're, they're still using <laughs> what, what they do in China at the moment. Now, but that's not applied in UK or in any parts of the world. Like UK, you have a lot of planning submissions. They don't do due diligence. The due diligence is not enough. They just look at a piece of land and then they buy it. They bought it, and then, but then the problem is there. You need to reserve something. You need to uh, 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 go through the environmental and to, to the public consultation and all that. You, the program will be delayed for another couple of years before you can really start, all right? Start the work on site. So this kind of thing, I think the developer needs to know. Uh, so they use a lot of direct supply contracts, and that's not... Uh, uh, feasible, uh, as I said just now. Uh, it's good to have cost saving and all that, but then it, it causes a lot of problems, uh, just now we said. Um, okay, now, the building cost control process, uh, if you look at the circle, those are the um, parts that may cause variations. You have misinterpretation of the documents because it's not complete, no specification, nothing. And then uh, variations, that's very common in a, in, a, in a project because that we change sometimes like market situation and all that. And then you, the quantities are not correct. And then that costs all variations. And then of course the materials, that change of materials, you have variations. Now we need to uh, advise the client to build up a very strong sort of cost administration, administration and management on for, to deal with all these changes and how to control the process. Now, we um, suggested to employ, uh, not, not particularly our firm, but quantity surveyors to really build up the whole thing from inception to completion. What they do now in China, uh, is, uh, for most of the projects, still are doing that now. They estimate. They have estimator, okay, a unit, one company to do that. And then, in tendering, so the, 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 the uh, drawings in advance to 30%, 60%, 90%, do, nobody updating it because they only do one budget, all right? And then when tendering, there is uh, what we call a tendering agent. They do the tendering. It's nothing to do the estimator, different unit, all right? And then in construction, they have the supervisory unit, the Jenny. Part of the journey is for quality work, part is for the cost. And, and that, that, they con cost control it, but they don't know who's putting out the tender. It's, it's a completely different unit. And then in final accounts, they have the, usually here the accountants do it, or the, uh, uh, now the uh, cost 
consultant. Now they do have a core consultant like us uh, to do the final accounts. No, so they're all four different units. Uh, uh, how can you, you know, work out the whole thing? So we, we, we comes in in the 80s, 1980s, and then we, we, we put it, implement this full process of uh, 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 cost control uh, uh, system so that from inception, budget, tendering, everything is done by one consultant. Because after the, uh, uh, the projects, you, you have the cost data for another tall building. Now, if you have different units, how can you put back that data back to, to the estimate for the first one? Okay? So we've been helping China to doing this. And, 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 and now China, uh, you know, the, uh, there is a, a Chinese uh, consultant firm are, are doing this now, and the government is really uh, appreciate all that. Okay. Uh, the last slide is that, uh, uh, just to summarize, that we need to have a, a, a really a strong team of coordination when doing a, 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 a super high-rise project and it's so complicated. And in order to strengthen the uh, contract procurement, we need a cost, very good cost control system. And uh, trying to be more proactive to work together with clients. The Chinese, uh, uh, the other thing is that most of the Chinese uh, developers don't know how to use consultants, all right? They, they don't know what their scope and they don't know, but throughout the time and uh, different projects now completed, so they, they know how to do it. Um, so uh, at the end, uh, so we try to uh, give, you know, all our professional advice to the um, employer so that there's a, a smooth and ready done for projects. All right. So uh, that's end my presentation. Thank you very much.